Hello there, you're listening to the Sort Yourself Out podcast. This week, we're discussing the art of self-tweaking. What the hell is that, you say? Well, stay tuned to find out more. I'm your host, Janine Hunt, natural health therapist for over 30 years, hypnotherapist, lifelong student, and spiritual seeker. I like to seek out the most effective practices and techniques that provide the greatest bang for my buck and the fastest route to freedom from whatever is holding us back. I can't wait to share with you these powerful techniques so that you too can sort yourself out, know deeper meaning in your life, and best of all, a sense of inner peace. So let's get started. Well, hello there, and thank you so much for joining me today. I am so honored that you've chosen to spend a little bit of your time with me. Today, we are discussing the art of self-tweaking. Now, I don't know if self-tweaking is a thing, or if I just made that name up, (laughs) but I like it because it really reflects the nature of personal growth and how we effect change in our lives. And it amuses me a bit too. (laughs) Self-tweaking. Now, so often we want to make change in our lives and we want it done yesterday. But this is just not realistic and we put too much pressure on ourselves when we expect nigh-on miraculous change to occur. And we also bring up all sorts of resistance when we have such high expectations. And then we crack, we crash and burn, and then usually we beat ourselves up about it. (laughs) And we hate ourselves, and we're worse off than we started out. For the most part, this is just not the way that change occurs in our lives. Lasting change is made incrementally. And that's why I've called it self-tweaking. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And being fanatical about changing things is just not sustainable. If you think about it, you've spent many years or even decades building and reinforcing the things about you or about your life that you'd like to change. So it's natural that it might take some time to make lasting change. Most likely, you've got complex belief systems that need an overhaul so that you can begin to think in a new way that supports the change you'd like to make. We're talking about a reorientation of consciousness here, and that can take time. And we've also got all this inner dialogue going on, saying really unhelpful and not nice things. Now, I call this our inner shit talker. (laughs) It pops up regularly, talking shit, telling us we're not good enough, we're a big fat pig, we don't have what it takes, and all manner of nasty things that erode our confidence and make us feel bad in general. And we've had that voice going on since we were little kids, reinforcing these negative beliefs. Even things that might seem like purely physical issues, like losing weight, for instance, involve a reorientation in the way we think about things and the way we talk to ourselves. So, in self-tweaking, we need to accept the incremental nature of change. Each small success or unfoldment you have paves the way for the next one. And then with that new level of confidence in yourself and that higher area of knowledge, you are equipped to take the next step and so on. And you can see this in your life when you look back at how you were in the past. I bet there are times when you think, Holy cow, what was I thinking then? I would never do that now. I would handle things so much better. Well, that's unfoldment for you. (laughs) With each life challenge, we have an opportunity to grow and to gain mastery over ourselves. So, 
Allow yourself to unfold naturally and to respect your own timing. Work on taking small, doable steps and building on your earned wisdom and prowess. An example of wanting to eat more healthily could involve changing a few meals per week to healthier options. Rather than going cold turkey and chucking everything you usually eat in the bin, go gently on yourself and give yourself the time to appreciate the new way of eating. That way you'll avoid the big time cracking and consequent binging and beating yourself up. (laughs) Now, admittedly, this doesn't apply to all things like quitting smoking or dealing with, say, a serious diagnosis where a more immediate shift is required. But for the majority of personal growth issues, You need to allow yourself the time for change to occur. This has been a big lesson for me that I've had to learn in my life. It's not earth shattering and it's not sexy, but here it is. Moderation. Yep, I said moderation. (laughs) For most of us, moderation will allow contentment. So in our example of eating more healthily, Gradually, you incorporate more healthy foods into your diet, and you also allow yourself to have that piece of cake if you really want it. If you suddenly deny yourself all the things you like, you'll start feeling miserable fairly soon, and misery is no state to be trying to change your life in. We're looking for sustainability here. So there are a few main things I want you to consider as you work on self-tweaking. One, be kind to yourself. Practice self-compassion. You can definitely do without the self-hatred and beating yourself up. Two, use techniques to support yourself. Refresh your energies and keep your mood high. Think things like EFT, that's emotional freedom technique, Meditation and visualization. Three, this is a good one. Recognize your wins. Give yourself a pat on the back. So often we focus on the negative stuff and then brush off the positive stuff and our accomplishments as flukes. (laughs) So acknowledge your progress. Bask for a while in gratitude and appreciation. Four, Respect your own timing. Often we experience pressure from those around us to conform to their wishes for timing. So you need to use your intuition to help you figure out what's right for you and the cycle of life you're in and the issue you're dealing with. Five, don't be disheartened if you are facing an issue that you thought you had dealt with. It could be an opportunity to show yourself that you've truly overcome it if it pops back up again, or there may be elements of it remaining in your energy field that you need to purify. You could be dealing with an issue on a higher turn of the spiral, handling it with your new, higher, self-tweaked wisdom. 6. Recognize that making change, even in incremental levels, can be uncomfortable. There may be moments when you are called to greatness in a way that your lower self might balk at. And this is a call to expansion from the soul. It can certainly feel uncomfortable to the ego. But hey, It wouldn't be expansion if it was a well-trodden path within your comfort zone. So expect that there will be some moments of discomfort along your path. Now, as I said earlier, there may also be rather big leaps you make when it comes to change. But in talking about self-tweaking, I want you to be able to look back and recognize how far you've come. When it's a gradual, incremental thing, it's not as notable 
and as life shattering as something big. And you can sometimes feel like you're stagnating. So really try to appreciate all the little ways that you are implementing positive change in your life and how they are contributing to uplifting your well-being. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up for now. But before we go, I have a free guided meditation that you can download to help you with your self-tweaking. It's called the Quantum Liberation Spa, where we cleanse old stuck energies and outmoded beliefs from all levels of your being. And get this, we restore the divine blueprint of optimal function, balance, harmony, and wholeness. Nice. And we even create a powerful anchor that you can use to access your heightened state of well-being that you're experiencing in the Quantum Liberation Spa whenever and wherever you want. You can get it at theinspirationcloud.com slash SYO65. Those are the numbers 65. So that's theinspirationcloud.com slash SYO65. And I'll put a link in the show notes. Now, if you are interested in taking your well being to the next level and being better than happy, why don't you sign up to the waitlist for my upcoming Better Than Happy membership? I've been talking about it for ages, (laughs) but I am getting there and soon we will be launching this. So the Better Than Happy Zone is a monthly membership where I'll be teaching my most powerful top-down techniques to sort yourself out, to free yourself of your hang-ups and blockages, to take charge of your mind and to nourish your soul. So if you've been listening to this podcast, you know that I'm all about giving you the tools that you need to transform your life. And in the Better Than Happy membership, there will be mini courses and hypnosis sessions and guided meditations and EFT tapping videos, neuro-linguistic programming techniques, mindfulness training, the ageless wisdom teaching, and lots more. So that wherever you are on your path to greater well-being, You can start right there and then take the next step when you're ready. You'll have the tools, practices, and techniques you need to not just heal your life, but to make it more meaningful, fulfilling, peaceful, and beautiful. So if you're ready to transform your well-being and be better than happy and would like to be kept informed, go on over to theinspirationcloud.com slash slash membership to get on the wait list and I will keep you in the loop. And this is something you also want to do because those people on my wait list are going to be offered a special early bird offer where they will be offered the membership at the lowest price it's ever going to be and they will also get early access. So that's the inspirationcloud.com slash S-Y-O membership. Okay, my friend, that is all for today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I really do appreciate it. So take care and I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for listening to the podcast. I really hope you found it helpful and full of uplifting ideas that you can put into practice in your life. And if you have Chances are your friends and family will too, so please share it with them on social media. You'll be helping them to sort themselves out, because I bet you think they need it, right? But seriously, you'll also be doing me a huge favor, and I will be eternally grateful for your generosity. It would also be lovely if you would leave me a review on iTunes, preferably a nice one, please. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast while you're there. If you have any questions or would like me to address a certain topic, I'd love to hear from you. You can email me at info at theinspirationcloud.com. Have a good one, folks. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week.